Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, part 109, and it's prototype time. After selling some cars and some, selling some of the cars I've used in recent segments, but hey, I needed the money to get this, so I had to do what I had to do. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be using those cars again anyways, because, you know, I'm still trying to do my one car per segment rule, although I've kind of fucked that with the past uh, few segments, but oh well. Anyways, Pojo 908 the number nine car number nine and into our first r1 class race uh, or event of the uh, event list the pojo r1 showcase so here we go we got including mine three of the uh, number nine 908s three number 10 908s and then two random fucking 905s in the in the back because why not also their pi is a lower like, I just bought this stock, and this thing is 998. Hang on, I want to check something here. And then not upgraded their 998. Okay. Okay, okay. Whatever you say, game. Whatever you say. This game is a little odd with its upgrades, apparently. All right, just making sure all everything is at the max still. Eh, whatever. <laughs> so if I turn AI upgrades on, the PI goes down too for the 908s. Sure. <laughs> sure. Anyways, we got a bunch of two-lap races to do here, starting at Silverstone, so let's go. All right, well, let's try this again, and this time maybe be a little more efficient with my overtakes. I mean, it sounds like a good idea to me, so, you know. So here we go. Attempt two at race one. Let's do the passing better. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, just barely not able to get alongside Weber. Go for a dive here. Thread the needle. Excuse me, pardon me, holy crap. I was not expecting at all to get that kind of a run on Evans, but hey, I'll take it. And immediately onto the podium, good. Unfortunately, Muller and Rossi here have decided to pull out a gap already. As they do. As they always do. It's like, oh, we're in the same machines, this is where the AI skill difference really, uh shows itself here. Smaller and Ross who just fucking go. It's up to me to try to reel him back in. Which I'm actually doing kind of right now. Gotta be very careful here. Whoop. Swoops right on by. Holy crap. That was very that was a perfect overtake. Just went right around as if I was taking a normal line. It's like he wasn't even there. And the normal approach to the left-hander. That was beautiful. Absolutely falcon beautiful, mine. Now I just got to get around Rossi here. I'll we'll try to carry a lot of speed through turn one. Worked out fairly well. I love driving these prototypes. So these prototypes are like some of the most fun vehicles for me to drive in these in the Forza series. They're so fast, they got so much grip, it's so yes. So look at that dive. Take that Rossi. Let's uh, take it a little easy here. Do a short shift there to try to prevent wheel spin. Okay, that might have been a little early on brakes, so I don't give a fuck. Oh! That is grass. I should not be on that. Grass is bad. And... Ooh. 
little bit of a slide. Alright, we are good. I like how the engine is louder when looking behind despite it being a rear engine car. I think with the camera being closer to the rear it'd be louder. I don't fucking know. Shut up, man. I don't understand how things work, so I'm not gonna pretend to, like, explain the logic here. All I know is that I won! Yay! So now let's do it three more times with this car. Woo. Nice affinity level up. And that's why downforce is very important with these cars, so let's try this again. Because, yeah, that damage really fucked me. So, Catalonia attempt two. No visibility. But it's fine. I can, like, I may not, I may have a lot of my vision blocked, but I can still kind of tell where people are in uh, relation to me. Kind of. And say so I can tell, I can see well. It's just I can see some. Overall, I mostly can't see shit. Just kind of have to guess to where to aim my car and stuff. Ah, oh, damn it! A little too aggressive entry there. Late on the brakes. I really can't waste this much time trying to pass somebody, but I need to keep my car as clean as possible. Come on, throttle. Careful. See how you doing, more? Okay, no mechanical damage for me, so downforce is full effect here. Slipstream more down the front straight. Pull out, out brake. Took a tighter line because he didn't give me any fucking room. I felt a, I felt a touch once we hit the apex. Now I just have to work somehow get around Rossi here. While also avoiding a molar dive, which is very possible, considering how close he is to me. Yeah, that was the big dive spot for them, so I think I'm safe from molar now. And I got a run on Rossi. And he actually gave me room. And I now have the lead. Sweet. That was very nice through the hairpin. Big slide. Yeah, kept it under control, luckily. Nice and smooth through the chicane. That wasn't a smooth exit. But we're good, and there we go. I win a Catalonia. While well, pretty much blinded, because of the uh, lack of visibility inside the car. But uh, there we go. So, that just leaves two races remaining. In this series. Hey, we've reached level 75. Cool. I'll take that money because I need it, so almost race 3. Alright, let's try this uh, for the third time. This time, hopefully, I won't destroy my car. First time it was the rear, which gave me, which just made my car go into fucking spin mode. Last time it was the front of my car. Which means no turning allowed. 
This time... We will make it through unscathed. Oh! However... However... Not everybody will survive. Okay, someone remind me to save this replay. Because that needs to be preserved. Ooh, the impromptu dive on more. Hello. Because they just took a bad line through that turn. That, that was a big accident. Hello, Rossi. How are you today? That feeling can almost go full throttle through this section with these cars because of just the downforce these things generate. It's insane, man. Okay. One down, one to go, and I have a nice one second margin over Rossi here immediately. Nice. Alright, we're approaching the crash site. Let's see how many bits of car are on the road. I didn't really see any. Here are my eyes suck. I don't know. Thank you for the reminders, Ludo. Save that replay, yo. Okay, I, I know I gave... I think the last segment... I gave some shit. This track some shit about driving it reverse and it not being all that great. I'm on a grand old time. Maybe it's just... Anything that isn't the full course. Actually, no. It's just because of this car and its ability to grip so well. Because this is the section of the track going this way that I absolutely fucking hate in any other car. So, yeah, it's not bad with this car because it can fucking take these turns with absolute ease. Just no effort whatsoever. And across the line, I kicked everyone's ass. Everyone's. All right, save this replay. New file. I'm gonna name this Holy Shit. Or Hoy Shit, because I forgot to put the L in there. I took the L. Ha ha ha. Anyways. And there's your race results. Despite that huge crash, only, uh, not even 10, 12, 20 seconds between me and Weber and last. So, they all recover from that crash pretty well. And Russo. Hang on, Russo, in the 905, finished second. That doesn't seem right. Okay, yeah, I think there's a little timing glitch here from when I saved the replay, actually. Because there's no way in hell Russo ran a minute 12 lap time. I, I, think, I think we got a little timing glitch there. So let's look, uh, let's say look in the background, but I can't, or too far away. Uh, come on, trying, trying to see, fucking camera keeps changing, I'm trying to see if, uh, who's, oh, whatever, I can see from the replay, so fuck it. Hey, there we go, um, that literally is one race to go in the series, so off we go. And we end our Pojo LMP adventure here at the Nurburgring. So not only am I going to have to deal with turn one, I'm going to have to deal with turn one with absolutely no visibility. Whoa! So here we go. Just point my car into the inside and hope for the best. Hope for pretty much as little damage as possible. Is what I mean by hoping for the best. Kind of stuck on the outside here. 
Oh, more. Oh, more. Okay, 10 on the front, 11 on the side. That's not that bad, but it's still better, or it's still worse than none at all. So, my car is definitely not going to perform at 100%. I'm definitely going to get some understeer. And not just, you know, from me, uh, driving too hard into the turns either. That was the real test of my car's turning abilities. It's the Schumacher S. Either I was making that or I was restarting the race because I would have went way off track. Alright, Rossi. Let's let's dance. Let's do the devil's dance. You know that dance. Alright, final lap. Okay, I was way earlier on the brakes than I thought I was going to be. spot to get around Rossi. I might be able to do something on the exit of the Schumacher S if I don't do something before that. Thought about diving there, but eh. Probably wasn't going to work. Basically waiting on the Schumacher S. little further away than I would like to be, then again it'd probably help me out in the long run, because I'd get a better run on him. And the run kind of fate stifled itself after uh, an into the right-hander, but it was still enough. Got the dive. That was a beautiful dive. That was absolutely incredible. I love when I make like good, clean dives like that. It makes me feel better about myself. Like, hey, I can actually do clean, like, race cleanly after all. Whoa! Alright, went a little wider around the last turn just because I can't fucking see to my right, so I don't know where the pit wall is. Alright, there we go. I win. First try, not bad. That went f a million times better than I was expecting, not gonna lie. Johansson? Now that's a legit fourth place for Johansson. I don't know what the fuck happened with the time. I think it was just the timing kind of fucked itself when I was saving the replay in the last race, but that was a legit fourth place for Johansson. And there we go. The Pojo R1 showcase is complete. Ta-da. So our first uh, R1 race of the event list is done. And that just leaves one more European manufacturer race to go. So with that, we'll move on to that in the next segment. And yeah, I don't fucking know. Stay tuned.